We have a new project. This is our new project. This project is called Push on, Push off, Switch. So we have a push on, push off switch using only transistors. Three transistor with uh, resistor, uh, capacitor, push button. Of course, we have this uh, power LED and the output LED. We are going to use this uh, 9 volt supply for our project. This is 9 volts. Connect to the circuit. Then we have now the circuit. Okay. If we're going to press the switch, it will turn on the output LED. Push up push on on up on up sometimes this is called a, a latch switch where in the ordinary push button is now being converted into a toggle switch using uh, an electronics uh, components so a normally open push button will turn into a, a target switch why because whenever I press the switch release it turns on and then press release it turns off this is a blue LED a power LED so with the use of the discrete components our uh, ordinary push button normally open switch now converted into a toggle switch so this is now uh, sometimes called a latch switch there is a latching that is happening in the circuit off on I'm just using a 9 volts with breadboard and the uh, jumper wires again off on off on We have now the schematic diagram of our circuit. We have this uh, figure one, push on, push off, switch using transistor. So we have three transistors, the NPN type, BC547, two NPN, and one PNP, BC557. This is the pinout of the transistor. And we are also using one switch with a lots of resistors one capacitor and of course we have the power led that's just to show that the circuit is on or to make sure that the circuit is on for this power led we have the 4.7 k resistor in series with the blue led so this is to indicate that the circuit has a power once we powering on, the power LED turns on. And also we have the output LED. That is our uh, main ob objective. To turn on and off this LED output. Red. Of course with series resistor to the LED. And is connected to the collector of this transistor. The anode then to the ground. So what is the function of the switch? This switch is uh, normally open. This is a push button. And uh, because of the circuit, it converts this uh, normally open push button switch into a push on, push off switch. Or sometimes it's called a latch. Latch switch. 
or it is called by stable multi vibrator because it latches or uh, just like an ordinary switch that toggles it latches one press it will on one press it will off it will off at the initial state uh, let us assume that the LED output is off so when the LED is off why why is it off where will the current flow where is the current flow okay using the 9 volt supply LED is off or it is off because all the current is flowing to the 100 key 100 key this divider LED into the capacitor charging the capacitor so when LED is off turn off it is because capacitor is charging this electrolytic capacitor 1 microfarad 16 volts mm. if this is charging there is no way that the current will flow into this transistor also in this resistor also in this uh, LED it will not turn on this LED why? to turn on this LED since it is connected to the collector of this transistor we need a triggering current here or we have a, we need a, a voltage equivalent to 0.7 volts across base to emitter in order to turn on this LED, it must be passed or flow into the collector to emitter. So we need this transistor to act as a closed switch or in a, to operate or conduct this transistor in, in a saturation region. So, initial state of the transistor, it is open. There's no current that flows into the collector to emitter. Therefore, there is no current that flows here. No current, no current, no current, no current. And the switch is open. No current here, no current, no current, no current flow, no current because it is open, 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 open. Why is it open here? Because there is no triggering current here. Oh, we need the triggering current to the base and also we need a, a 0 0.7 volts across base to emitter of this NPN transistor. Why is it that there is no triggering current? Because of this transistor. If there is no triggering uh, current also here, PNP, since, since this is a, a negative triggering current, this is PNP. Why is it negative? Because the current flows in counterclockwise. Here, why NPN, it flows, the current flows in counterclockwise. To the ground, this one, counter. So, emitter to base, there is no current because... The transistor is charging. That is the reason why there is no current flow. There is no current here. There is no voltage across emitter to base. No voltage here. No current to the base. No current. LED turns off. Because of the transist uh, capacitor is charging. That's, that is the initial state of the circuit. It is the start of the circuit. Let us now use this switch. Since our uh, aim or objective is to produce this push on push off switch. When we push, press the switch, this terminal 1 is now being connected to terminal 2. Oh. There is no, since this is charging now, upon a uh, fully charged, so when it is fully charged, with, in which the potential difference between the Supply and the capacitor is equal. Once we press the switch, there is now a, a current. The current will now flow into the terminal 1 to 2 of the switch, injecting the current to the base of this transistor. Since I, ha I have said that we need a triggering current here that will develop a 0 0.7 volts needed to conduct this to function to work this transistor to turn on this transistor we need 0 0.7 volts and since we have now the current from the tran the capacitor injecting it we press the switch it will now have 0 0.7 volts needed to turn on this transistor so it will turn on so the current now flow emitter to base and then to 100k then collector to emitter then to the ground 9 volts 1 m 1 mega ohms 100k then collector to emitter to then to the ground and because of that also the led turns on because 
current flows from 9 volts, 470 ohms, LED, and then collector to the emitter, then to the ground. This transistor now acts as a closed switch or operates in saturation region. Also, the current flow, since this is now uh, it will forward bias this PNP, the current also flow into the emitter, the collector, and then to the 10K, then to the base and to the 10K. Also, the current flows into the 10K. It will now uh, turn on or switch on this transistor. And then, since it will uh, uh, bias this transistor, now the current now also flows into collector to emitter, to the ground. All capacitor now will turn on because of injecting a large amount of current to the base here and also because of the current flows from the collect from the supply it will turn on this transistor on on it means uh, it act as a closed switch on 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 and because this is on LED now turns on so it is now on when we release the switch why is it that the LED still turns on why is it why is that because because of this circuit this serve as a triggering latch or the electron flow will now trap oh, the current traps into this direction here into this mesh the current now still flow here flow flow here here then uh, turns on the transistor uh, led also here from here and here there is now a continuous uh, electron flow from this uh, mesh this mesh this mesh this mesh continuous and uh, even releasing the switch, uh, still there is a current that flows into this uh, three transistor. All of them, all of them. That's why it makes this LED to turn on. So we now have a push on, and then push up again. The tra the capacitor now is discharged. Uh, what if you're going to press it uh, again? When we press the switch. Instead that the current flow here, because the conducts here, current flows into the base of the transistor. When we press the switch again, the current now flow into the capacitor, making this capacitor to charge and then to the ground. So what happened now to the circuit? It will now remove the latch. Because of that, it will uh, come back to original state. Go back into original state, the capacitor is charging because of pressing the switch. And this one, when we release the switch, there is no more latch or the, there is no electron flow into the this three transistor because all the current now is, they are charging. All the current now flows into the capacitor and this capacitor now uh, is charging or uh, go back to its initial state. So, this LED now will turn off again. We'll go back to the initial state or we'll go back to the beginning of the circuit. All the current now flows again to the transistor, uh, to the capacitor because it is charging. And all the current, there is no more current uh, that will flow into the circuit, to the transistor due to the sudden press of the switch it will now divert the direction of the current flow into the capacitor instead of and it will remove the latching since this serve as a triggering latch there is no current that is being trapped into this mesh there is no more current because all the current now flows into the capacitor because the capacitor now is charging and it will go back to its original state and we release that the, because of that there is no triggering latch. It will go back to the original state. Once we press it again, again, when we press it, it will now again inject current to the transistor. Suddenly it becomes uh, active again. This transistor becomes closed or uh, operates or conducts. Again, LED turns on. When the capacitor is charging, it, it turns up when the capacitor is discharging it turns on that is our circuit